that I was in a high school, uh, I have no choice in fact. So I tried to find some possibility in physics, but the, I, have, I realized that I have no ability to do so. And then uh, later I realized that I can do something on mathematics. That's the uh, only thing that I can and concentrate. Uh, in fact, this is unclear for me. So, uh, in, maybe in the European uh, uh, situation, the Japanese situation, US, the same. But, so this job opportunity as a mathematician is very narrow. But uh, I tried... Uh, so many people surrounding me says that it is a risky choice. And, uh, but in fact, I never consider this problem. Uh, so I'm very, very uh, 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 slow guy and do not consider this problem. And rea I realize that this is kind of a talent, not to not notice so much uh, this kind of problem. And uh, this makes me <laughs> uh, lease my uh, pass to the mathematicians. That's all I think. Uh, okay, I love calculations and I tried to uh, make some computations uh, by my hand and also my calculator. At the time I got some very very small gadget uh, which is very expensive for now. Uh, this is something which is uh, 100 euro or something like that, the calculator. And, uh, uh, but this was very, very cheap at the moment. So uh, now it could be purchased very, very cheap, but the 100, it's something below 100. And I'm very, very uh, enthusiastic to buy this one. And I so save money uh, and so you know that in Jap Japan we got some small money from, uh, from my parents, month three, and sometimes in January uh, 1st. And then we collected all the money to get this small gadget. And after that, I tried to compute a lot of numbers and uh, tried to find something new. And this is my first experiment. And I tried many, many experiments, tried to show something new which is not found yet. And uh, of course that this is just a tryout and never find something new, but I love such kind of thing and I realized that I want to be uh, such a person, uh, enthusiastic to numbers. Okay, that the, as I mentioned that I was a number theorist, so I like math numbers and uh, I tried to study some property of the numbers and the problem in number theory and and but so gradually I changed my subject uh, due to some circumstances and also uh, this number theoretical problem uh, has a wide range and which is connected to dynamical system and uh, dynamical systems and the number theory is a quite a different area uh, so number theory uh, is kind of uh, studying some behavior of one point in the future. So it goes somewhere, but uh, we want to know the future of one point. But in dynamical system, the uh, so statistical behavior is important, which means that one point is negligible. But we want to have some kind of average or uh, so almost everywhere result, which is important in dynamical system. And so uh, this is kind of uh, complementary science, but uh, the idea is in common. So we do, uh, uh, so this bridge is quite interesting to have some connections between the two. The way of thinking and the people are disjoint in some sense. So, the way the number theorist considers and the way the dynamical people considers is quite different. 
And uh, so, but still, sometimes we have some uh, very nice connections, which makes me very, very excited. And later, I uh, gradually move to the so, field which is, has connection to both areas. That is the one that the, this um, six month I was working on this kind of so connections and uh, of these two areas. One of the so uh, good uh, area which connects these two is tiling, and uh, this tiling has a very very important applications in number theory and also dynamical systems. Then probably that uh, I remember one nice things when I am climbing the mountain in Japan with my friend. Uh, maybe this is not so recommended, this is dangerous, but I was concentrating on mathematics while climbing the mountain. And then I suddenly found that the missing link of this problem, uh, that this Usually the mathematical problem is isolated, as I said, and which has seemingly no applications. But I found some connections. And so it's a really nice connections. And then uh, I, uh, I was uh, with my friend, mathematicians. So I immediately came to, uh, came to him, talked to this discovery. But he said, I'm just climbing, I'm enjoying my mountains, so this is not the time for mathematics. <laughs> um, it's just by chance, in some sense. That, so Pierre Arnoux, uh, my collaborator, and he's, uh, he just made me that it may be a chance to try. And I, uh, I'm very uh, so, uh, eager to be, in some sense, because that I love um, uh, Marseille. I spent some time in Marseille already, and uh, spent maybe more than four months around here uh, before, and no people, and weather here, much better than anywhere else, maybe. <laughs> Even it's much better than the place uh, I'm living in Japan. It's very, very uh, uh, so comfortable, and so uh, I want to relax here and try to expand my career. So that's my uh, so intention. So uh, this is one key word is tiding, and the other is something which is called self-inducing system. And the self-inducing system is kind of uh, so describing the nature by similarity, uh, called self-similarity. And uh, so when you look at, uh, for example, the trees, or uh, if you go uh, outside the nature, the, so this, what you see in the nature is very, very complicated shape. And if you look into uh, the something you the human made is kind of a straight flat and uh, so you can easily distinguish these two and uh, this what you found in the nature is involved in a kind of a self similarity so if you look at uh, some point uh, in detail then it has some similarity between in a global scale and this kind of uh, uh, so feature is very, very uh, so uh, widely found everywhere. This is called fractal everywhere, and so and this uh, phenomenon and uh, uh, is quite interesting for me. And so, wide has wide applications everywhere. And number theory is, uh, some number theory is related uh, in, uh, to this kind of so self-similarity in a sense of constructing fundamental region of the, some algorithm to describe the orbit 
and uh, so predict the detail of the future trajectory of the orbit. And this kind of uh, problem is really related to number theory. And so I want to explore uh, these two connections. And then uh, later I know that it has a lot of so wider application than uh, this connection to number theory and connection to computer science uh, and also many, many other areas like physics, which is known to be uh, so quasi-crystal, which is also a very shocking discovery as a real material which contains self-similarity. And uh, so many, many diverse application is found. So we want to understand this phenomenon uh, in a very, very uh, so bread, uh, so scoped way. So this application is uh, to give some model uh, to understand the nature. So we have, uh, as I said, that the nature contains some self-similarity, but uh, this self-similarity is a key word to understand this phenomenon. And in mathematics, we usually make some toy model. The toy model means, uh, which is a very simple model, uh, which explains some so complicated uh, so structures. And this uh, uh, this sometimes quite uh, uh, give us a great help in understanding the, so nature, and also some problems in the other areas. So this I feel is the key word to make some good connections of mathematics to, and the other fields. So uh, I tried to make some good connections to the locals and I attended several seminars in, uh, organized in Marseille and uh, I got acquainted with many, many people in, and uh, I tried to mix, uh, make a good mix with local and global. And I, invited a lot of people from outside and this seems to be a very nice occasion that the outside people knows excellent mathematician Marseille and the other way around and this uh, uh, I fear uh, is a great opportunity for me and also for the uh, participants that I organized uh, uh, the, the events. In fact, that the, I was appointed as uh, so, so head of the institute uh, after come back to my university Tsukuba, and so I'll be very busy <laughs> later. <laughs> and so, but I tried to connect, uh, make uh, keep connections, and I made some new connections and meet, meet met new friends, uh, new collaborations here, and tried to. Uh, keep a good contact with these good connections. And one of the things that I created is run by research in pairs. I uh, strongly recommend these uh, activities in Sion, which is uh, the idea is that the, so several people just join here and eat together and talk together in a small room for say two weeks or three weeks and this is excellent and so one can wa so walk around the Karank uh, discussion, with discussions and this uh, feels me very relaxed and by this I uh, began some joint work maybe two new joint works out of this so this is also very nice so organizations and I like this very much. Uh, yeah, yes, so we are anticipating these books and I try to make it fast. Uh, I'm not sure that, but hopefully uh, the edition will be uh, so finishing by the uh, end of this summer. And uh, this is a very nice opportunity uh, tried to connect the lecture notes that I got uh, in the, this 
uh, so meetings and conference. And so to summarize the new discovery, and which is also a very nice so textbook for someone who want to know this uh, growing areas. Uh, and I believe this book will help people who have some uh, so first so access to such an area. Yes, I think so. That this place is located so somewhat in a remote from the civilizations. So I thought at the beginning that this is a too remote. Uh, you know that this is in the national park, and if you want to buy something uh, which is in the so, uh, supermarket, it takes time. But still, so as a mathematician, we need some distance from the civilizations. I want, we usually want to be lonely and try to concentrate on something. And then sometimes uh, we want to meet. And this balance is very important for mathematics. So too much information is bad and too little information is bad. So the, this, to keep this balance, this place is excellent. And also I add some uh, so good things for this Moria chair house. The design is very nice and surrounded by a nice atmosphere. The, so these constructions, I would say, is excellent. Uh, maybe it's a bit better than some other constructions in France. <laughs> That's my so impressions. So I would love to be uh, there and I also uh, maybe I don't have uh, next occasions but I really want to come back <laughs> mathematicians is usually quite lonely and uh, isolated and sometimes we need some discussions and this as far as I understood this molar chair is to enhance communication between mathematicians. And this uh, is, uh, I think, the unique job in the world, the Moray chair. I never saw this kind of idea. And I think this makes mathematicians happy. So I try to talk to many people, uh, if I understand my job, as a moral chair is to enhance activities and communications, then I think it, I'm, uh, I su succeeded in this and then I got a lot of communications, new friends and new ideas and then so <clears throat> uh, have some collaborations. Maybe that you should export this idea to the others. So, Usually that mathematical organization is like that. So the close people got together and talk. And, uh, but if it is a bit of a distance, then they have no talk at all. And so I would say this is not so nice. So if uh, two people even have different subject may talk, and sometimes you have some nice uh, ideas in common and maybe you can uh, so make some uh, nice things later and Mole chair is for this and uh, this works very uh, very nicely so I believe that the, you should extend this idea and please so advertise to uh, everywhere including Japan <laughs> This is a very, very nice place. So, uh, worker is fine, and uh, so working uh, condition is nice. Library is excellent, and uh, mm, so I have nothing to complain. So, very, very good uh, access, uh, and also, uh, how to say, so, 
this is a place that uh, with eating and uh, chatting uh, along the course, and this makes uh, the uh, very nice. So usually, the, the mathematical idea comes from eating in some sense. <laughs> so this is <laughs> my opinion that uh, when, whenever. So if you are concentrating on something, we don't need any ideas. But uh, if you eat out or eat uh, uh, and talking about something else, then got, we get some new idea. And as far as I understand, the France has some so advantage of uh, and the culture in eating, and uh, this so. Serum serves a very nice lunch, and we relaxed talking on any subject, and then uh, sometimes we find something new. So I believe that this is a kind of a heaven for mathematicians.